To win the opening, or any other face-off, press the pass button right before the referee drops the puck. Time it right, and you win the draw. Bill scoops up the loose puck. Offside, Vancouver. The face-off goes to Vancouver. See that colored ring around the player? Scores! It just crossed the line, but it counts. What a sweet wrist shot right there. He just picked the spot and snapped it home. It didn't take long for them to allow that first goal. The defense will have to do a better job if they want to stay in this game. You can't let a team think they can score on you at will. Rupp has his pocket pick. Move back. Saved by Perrault. Use the control pad or the stick on your controller to move your player around. Vancouver wins the race and beats out the icing call. Line three, get up there. New York grabs it. If you want to pause the game, or if you'd like to access any of the pause menu options, press pause on your controller, or hit the escape key on your keyboard. To continue, use your mouse to click on resume. The face-off goes to Vancouver. Forspaka takes possession of the puck. Remember, use the control pad or the stick on your controller to move your player around. Advances the puck. Mike scores! A top shelf goal off a top flight play. This is what's so great about the wrist shot. It's not as fast as a slap shot, but it's quicker to get off and way more accurate. Vancouver ties it up midway through the first. That'll relieve the pressure of playing from behind. Perron, great save! He shut the door that time. Not a great shot. Line four. Brown jumps on the loose puck. Mike. New York gets a hold of it. Bradley. Out over the blue line. He gets shoved. Played up. Jim knocks him off the puck. Out of their defensive end. Quick pass up through the neutral zone. Dave Offside. finds the loose puck. Offside. The face-off goes to Vancouver. Passed across. Passed ahead. When you make a pass, the longer you hold the button, the harder the pass. Brings it up. Played up. Craig backhand. McKenzie with the puck. And out they come with a puck. Over center. Quick pass up. Moved ahead. Break away. Press the pass button to switch players when you're on defense. Craig jumps on the loose puck. The Islanders dump it in. Vancouver grabbed it out over the blue line. Moved across, Bradley, Kennedy drive. He takes control of the puck. Bill took it, Fox scoops it up. In all alone. The power of your shot is up to you. The longer you hold the shot button down, the harder your shot will be. Good shot. Jim finds the loose puck. Right in front, shoots the puck. Right Vancouver, two. got it. Take a wrist shot, briefly tap the shoot button. Wrist shots are more precise than slap shots, but have less power. The face-off goes to Vancouver. Don shoots the puck. The hit button can be used to knock an opponent off the puck, or to stop him from receiving a pass. Nice work. That was a great hit. Brings it up. Quick pass up. 
Ted takes control of the puck. Mike now has it. Line one. Here he goes, all by himself. In front, turned away. Don't forget, press the pass button to switch players when you're on defense. Brings it in. Heat, great save. That one's not fine in the net. Ted, passed to head. McKenzie knocks the puck loose. New York gobbles it up. Ruffing. Ruff has been nailed for roughing. The officials are starting to call this one more closely, and that's roughing. A penalty is being called. slap shot, hold down the shoot button, then release. This shot is much harder, but less accurate than a wrist shot. The face-off goes to New York. With a wrist shot, Perron closed the door. Rob, with the puck, brings it out. Rob shoots the puck. Remember, you can use the hit button to break up a pass. Knock a player off the puck. And another hit from home. You're learning fast. To late. To one time a shot, pass the puck to another player, and press the shoot button before that player touches the puck. He'll fire a shot as soon as he gets it. Bobby won the faceoff. Shoots quickly. He jumps on the loose puck. He knocked him into the middle of next week. Some players have a target icon beside their names. These guys are snipers. They have a quick, accurate wrist shot. Try to get these guys the puck in front of the goal. Backhanded shot. Mike stops the shot. Moved up. Ted fired it hard. Brown jumps on the loose puck. Backhand shot. New York takes over. Into the attacking zone. Dean ripped it. Perron turned the shot away. Quick pass up. that certain players have a big stick beside their names. This symbol means these players are big shooters. Big shooters shoot the puck much harder than anyone else. Try it out. goes the extra mile to help out. Nomination forms for our annual team player awards are available at guest services. And Welcome back to what's been a close game so far. Let's see if the second period can shake things up a bit. We're ready for the face-off. Played up. Dean gets shown. He scoops up the loose puck. In over the line. Dean gets pushed. Malosh scoops up the loose puck out over the blue line. The saucer pass button will lift the puck off the ice. This is used when the defender is trying to block the pass. Dean with the puck. Malosh fires. In front, shoots the puck. Dean gets the pass from Pete. Moved ahead. Don knocks him off the puck. Bobby finds it. Ruck turns his man inside out. He sure caught him flat-footed that time. Over the line. Don takes control of the puck. Pete made the pad save. Remember, a saucer pass lifts the puck off the ice. Use this when a defender is trying to block the pass. They're getting ready for the faceoff. Advances the puck. Rupp out of their defensive end. Centers it. Campbell shoots it hard. Big glove save. Andy jumps on the loose puck. Remember. The power of your shot depends on how long you hold the shot button down. Another shot. Are you sure you're a beginner? New York dumps the puck in. Campbell. <laughs> New York has it. Brown gets thrashed. 
He's with the puck. By three, through. Ted dumps it. are lined up and ready for the faceoff. Cubby wins the draw. Bill gets bumped off the puck. Bradley takes control. Delayed call. Nothing. Don will get the gate for roughing. Pushing, shoving, no matter how you slice it, that's too much contact. The ref is ready to drop the puck. Caron intercepts the puck. McKenzie. A little reminder for you. When you make a pass, the longer you hold the button, the harder the pass. Rob shoots! Pete with a huge save. Great job getting in front of that one. Played across. Rissa! Heron stabs at it. Great save with the glove hand. Shoots quickly. Don gets in the way. Move back. Vancouver puts its number two penalty killing unit out. Bradley with the puck turned over at center ice. Advances the puck. Mike gets muscled off the puck. He scooped it up. Shoots quickly. Heron stabs at it. Great save with the glove hand. The puck is about to be dropped. Brings it up. Moved up. Ted fires it hard. Rock takes control of the puck. Dawn heads back onto the ice and is looking to do some damage. Johnny might. to drop the puck. Rob won the faceoff. Played across. Bill jumps on the loose puck for the wrist shot. Hand saved by Perron. Bill with the puck. Out over the blue line. Passed across. Brings it out. Quick pass up. Bobby, wrist shot! Heron turned the shot aside. Shoots the puck! Huge save! He stayed with it and made the stop. Over the line. Campbell shoots the puck! Jack Vancouver up. puts its number one penalty killing unit out. Ruck gets the loose puck. Right in front. Fires it! Blocked! Rob jumps on the loose puck. Short pass. For the wrist shot, the door is shut by Perron. Played back. Delayed call against Vancouver. Bobby with the puck. Andy puts an end to this power play as his penalty is over. Roughing! McKenzie gets called for roughing. 
Take a look at the replay. Far too much contact that time. Does he deserve the penalty? You bet. Vancouver is down a man and looking to their players to hold on. This squad needs to show some endurance. The next couple of minutes will be a big... Offside! They're getting ready for the faceoff. The faceoff goes to Vancouver. Hard shot. Pete turns him away. Shot quickly. Brown takes control of the puck. Taken up. It looks like they've shown up for this Take game. Up. Vancouver puts its number two penalty killing unit out. Mike wrist shot. Saved by Perron. Ted jumps on the loose puck. Shoots it. Don stops the shot. Bradley ripped it. Bob gets in the way. Don with the puck. Mike brings it in. He gets pushed. There's one for the visitors. Move back. Shot it. Perron gets the stick on it. Great anticipation to make the save. And the puck comes loose. Dawn gets the loose puck. And out they come with a puck. Pass to head. In front. Shoots the puck. Pete pulls the door. Pad save. Nicely done. Across. Into the attacking zone. Mike rips it. Perron denied him. Dawn. Played up. McKenzie takes control of the puck. Right in front. In over the line. Bobby for the howitzer. He jumps on the loose puck. One time shot. Pad saved by Perron. And out they come with the puck. Moved ahead. Moved up. Andy jumps on the loose puck. Out over the blue line. The ref is signaling for the faceoff. Don, he takes control of the puck. Cranks one. Don stops the shot. Pass back. Vancouver needs to be making a line change soon. Ted gets rubbed off the puck. Ahead to the neutral zone. Quick pass up. Lawson takes possession of the puck. At center. In over the line. Across. Over the blue line. Bradley gets pushed off the puck. Jim picked it up. Brings it in. Campbell. Quick shot. Pete made the pad save. No matter what the score, you always want to come out strong in the third period. We should have some great hockey ahead of us. Come to guest services on the lower concourse to claim your prize. Time for the third period. Jim looked for some big hits as both teams try to shake things up. Malosh wins the draw. Press the deep button to get around your opponent. Andy fires it. He's with the puck. Chartron. McKenzie shoves Craig. It fires hard. Turned over. Press the poke button to knock the puck off your opponent's stick. Malosh. By two. Through center. Over the line. Played up. 
Moved up. The Islanders dump the puck in. Remember, press the deke button to get around your opponent. Shoots it hard! Don scores! He let go of the wrist shot, and it paid off handsomely with that goal. That's right, you don't always have to wind up with a big slapper to get it past the keeper. And that's how you want to get going in the third period. Ah, uh, it's a key goal, no doubt about it. The only question is whether the opposition can mount a comeback. Dean gets in the way. He gets called for interference. Interference can be tricky. You can't call everything. But you want the game to have some flow. New York, we'll see if they can take advantage of the power play. They'll need to maintain their puck possession to keep pressure on the D. Let's see if they can make something happen here. Leg save by Perot. This man is equally at ease making saves with his gloves or his pads. Moved ahead. Right in front. Shoots the puck. New York, got it. Out over the blue line. Blast it! Heron stabs at it. Great save with the glove hand. Dave finds the loose puck. Shoots! Denied by Pete. Now that was a quick pad save. Rob takes control of the puck. Out of their defensive end. Quick pass up. Bobby jumps on the scores! That's a power play goal! They really utilized the extra room on the ice with that goal. Good power play effort all around. With the score all tied up, we're right back where we started from. With one big difference. We're looking at a much shorter game now. Ahead to the neutral zone. McKenzie takes possession of the puck over the blue line. Right in front, McKenzie, backhand, he scores! Awesome individual play to get the goal. From the backhand to the back of the net in one smooth motion. The goalie had no chance on that shot. Vancouver will have to work hard to stay in front. They'll really have to hustle to keep the lead. Pass to hit. Lawson goes around Brown. Dean. Center. Remember, press the poke button to knock the puck off your opponent's stick. <laughs> Whispering shot, Perron gets a pad on it. That save was all about reading the play. Advances the puck. The action's about to start. Bobby won the faceoff. One times it blocked. Brings it up. In front. Shoots the puck. New York picks it up. Out over the blue line. The ref indicates a delayed call. Jim. Dave will get the gate for hooking. Take a look at the replay, and it's crystal clear what happened. Keep your eye on a stick. Vancouver will take the penalty and sacrifice a player. Now the game gets interesting. It's going to take real mental discipline to kill this penalty. Bobby with the moves. He hung him out to dry. Bill takes control of the puck. up the loose puck into the attacking zone Andy wrist shot he scores he faked the goalie on that one no doubt about it what a great move that was absolutely that was a backbreaker of a goal up by two midway through the third time to protect the lead I think absolutely Jim count your blessings and get up please Ted steals the pass moved ahead Gets checked. The hometown fans do not like that. Oh. 
Dean jumps on the loose puck. And out they come with a puck. Brown with a wrist shot. Perron stoned him cold. He uses the pads and makes the save. He's done an outstanding job in the net. When your goalie plays the way he has, it gives the whole team a boost of confidence. Bradley gets hold of the puck. Front shot from the slot. Scores on the power play. Think there's a goalie around who could have stopped that blast. How quickly things change. One second they're up by two, the next they're in danger of losing the lead altogether. Knight knocks him off the puck. Grab by New York. We're ready for the faceoff. New York grabbed it. He picked it up. Over the blue line. Andy shoots the puck. Bill, quick pass up. Bradley gets pushed. New York dumps the puck in. Line three. Brings it up. Andy gets the loose puck. Ted, out of their defensive end. Sanderson scoops up the loose puck. Line one, you're out! Mike, out over the blue line, pass to him. Line two! Last minute of play in the third period. Go! Dawn finds the loose puck. Fires turned aside by Pete. What a save! Dawn will go to the box for interference. His man was nowhere near the puck. Now that makes it interference. Good call by the officials. New York could make some noise now. Playing on the power play gives them a few more options. Look for them to play very aggressive. McKenzie knocks the puck loose. Pete is leaving the net. Jim, they need numbers now. They need offense. There isn't much time to tie this thing up. McKenzie gets the loose puck. Chris shot, empty netter. Nothing risk, nothing gained, I guess. Well, they had to take a chance by pulling the goalie late. And that empty netter sealed the deal in this one. And with that insurance marker, they pretty much sealed the deal. After they drop two goals in less than a minute, they don't belong in this league. Intercepted in the slot. Perron made the glove save. Out over the blue line. It's all over but the crying. Vancouver wins it in regulation time. They played a solid all-around game here tonight. Good offensive attack and an effective defensive presence. That's a lethal combination when you can bring them both to the table. Star for New York Islanders, number 11, Brent McLean. Tonight's second star, Vancouver, number 12, Andy. From Frankfurt, Germany, this is Jim Houston with Craig Simpson. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.